Hi guys and welcome back. Today I want to discuss with you the latest technologies that are trying to improve the LP system because one of the main problems when you are just providing liquidity to Uniswap, Orca on Solana or any other platform that is offering you the possibility to add liquidity or receiving in exchange all the uh, swapping fees is that you will encounter some kind of impairment loss and that could affect even drastically how much you will get at the end of the story. Today I want to uh, share with you a project that has been just launching and the name is Comino that is on Solana, something that we haven't seen yet. And on the other side, I want to also talk with you what is happening on the other blockchains because this topic is really hot and a lot of new projects are coming out. So stay tuned. And guys, always remember that this channel is about educational content, nothing has to be intense financial advice. If you want to invest in anything, that's great, but do always your own research before. And guys, don't forget to leave us a big thumbs up and drop a comment. This is just a small way to say thanks to us and can also help a lot us to grow and to reach new people. Okay, guys, so let's start immediately. So as I was telling you, there is a project that has been just launching right now, so that's quite a hot topic. And it's called Camino. It is coming from the uh, Hubble protocol. If you're wondering what is Hubble protocol, this is the protocol. They have just been introducing a new stable coin. The name is USDH. And here you can find different uh, uh, solution. Maybe also in the future, you will have the opportunity to leverage and so on. But today I don't want to talk about uh, Hubble protocol. If you want to know more about uh, that protocol, I made a video also some months ago, but uh, it is quite self-explaining about the roadmap that they have and you can retrieve it from the link in the right corner here. Coming back to Camino. So here is a, a project that is trying to leverage uh, the LP on Orca. This is Orca, that is on Solana, and it is offering you the opportunity to add the liquidity exactly like on Uniswap using concentrated liquidity. The concentrated liquidity is a technology, a way to um, deploy your liquidity into the protocol in a more efficient way. The point is that even if in theory it is more efficient, the problem is that while the price is moving, so it is volatile, in that moment the impermanent loss can affect a lot if you are not changing the range where you have deployed your liquidity because concentrated liquidity is great but remember that if you are not managing it it is quite risky that's the reason why we need some tool that is doing this kind of management stuff for us and that's exactly what is doing camino but let's have a look on how does it work so just to give you an idea on which kind of upside it is offering and mostly because as you can see from these numbers uh, right now the APY uh, and the APR is quite high because for example here we are talking about USDH with USDC so two stable coins with a 26% and also here at 16% on USDC. I tried the platform just a moment ago, but as you can see, you have to stay alert because right now the pool capacity is almost full and that's quite also normal if you consider the kind of APY. Uh, the idea is quite easy. You have to add liquidity. In this case, you can also use a single uh, asset, for example, USDH or USDC if you prefer and the system will manage for you the uh, range where you are deploying the uh, liquidity and you will simply start earning the uh, rewards. The main reason, to be fair, why the APY is so high, it is because it is incentivized. As you can see down here, for example, when we are talking about USDH and USDC, it is incentivized by Hubble, because you will receive also rewards from Hubble. And on the other side, you will also receive rewards from Orca. So what you have to remember are two main things. First of all, that could be a good opportunity right now as long it will last, because obviously this kind of rewards will not last forever. On the other side, this is a first step into a future where you need and we need 
more efficient tools that are helping us to manage our liquidity. Right now, as you can notice, all of these assets, all of these pairs are stable pairs and or at least similar pairs, SOL, ST, SOL. Yes, they are not exactly the same, but they are pretty close. And the main reason is because in this way, the way that the pool, the system is managing the liquidity is more efficient. Into the next future, we can expect probably also other pair that maybe cannot be uh, stable anymore. Anyway, if you're interested to know more, check the links down here. Going on, because you should know that there is not only Camino that is working, obviously, if you are looking on Orca and on Solana right now, if I'm not wrong, but feel free to correct me if I am. It is the only solution that is available right now, not to mention it has been just launching just the other day. The other day came out also another news by Alpha Omora, that is another system that should be supposed to increase capital efficiency on Uniswap. Just to make it more easy to understand, in the moment when we are talking about Omora version 2, so Alpha Omora, this announcement that we are seeing right now, but the same applies when we are talking about Camino, we are talking about solutions that are close to the more famous Popsicle Finance, that is still part of the world that is composed by Wanderla Mani, Abracadabra, and Popsicle that is trying to improve the efficiency of liquidity into Uniswap. What the different solutions that we are seeing right now are trying to do is learning the lesson from Popsicle and try to, from that starting point, improving. And the same story applies also to Popsicle that is trying to reinvent itself because the first solution wasn't effective as it was supposed. And that's something that is another big lesson that we should learn. Guys, solutions are changing, are trying to evolve themselves. So you need to understand that everything is experimental and everything is also having its own risk. There is nothing that is offering you great APY without any kind of risk. And that's something that you should always remember because otherwise you will be simply going around blinded, forgetting about what is the real risk that you are exposing your portfolio. Anyway, Alpha Mora is another solution that you should be aware, exactly as uh, Arrakis Finance, that is one of the uh, main solutions right now, even if it is still in beta, that is trying to offer next generation of uh, liquidity management strategies. Just to do also some kind of gossip and some kind of uh, insider information, even if uh, the news is quite public, uh, Squirrel, that is uh, one of the main developers that has been working on Popsicle, has gone from Popsicle to uh, Arrakis just in order to bring uh, its own uh, know-how to this uh, project in order to solve this big problem. Because when we are talking about capital efficiency, that's something that is a big point because the more we are inefficient, it means that there is liquidity that is just stagnant into a protocol without any kind of use case. So it means that at the end of the story, most of the liquidity is not producing any kind of yield. So it means that we are losing money. And the more we are making it possible to uh, be efficient, the more the different DAXs will increase their capacity to attract people, users, uh, funds, and so on. So that's a big topic. Not to mention that the more they are efficient, also the highest will be the yield for us. So this is another solution, Arrakis, that is trying to solve this problem. I'm saying trying because exactly as I was telling you before, we are still talking about something that is experimental. Finally, I want to share with you another protocol uh, that is coming from a team that I have uh, uh, known in person that I met in Singapore, and it's called HedgeCut, and the concept is pretty cool, guys. I highly encourage you to check also their Twitter account because the idea behind HedgeCut is quite cool. The point is that we have this kind of LPs that are not able to, at least not at this point, being able to reach the maximum yield as we are craving for. So the idea is using them as a counterparty to do margin trading, because you know that when we are talking about concentrated liquidity, we are having a range 
where the liquidity is coming from. 100% to one of the asset is composing the pair to 0% of the other asset. So the percentage is moving according to the price to the range that you have uh, chosen. And that's pretty cool because if you're using this range, it means that it doesn't matter how the price will fluctuate. You will simply have the same. So you will never be uh, liquidated. And the point is that they are using this LP with the concentrated liquidity as a collateral for margin trading. So it means that you can leverage, you can use this LP to borrow asset. And that's something that is pretty cool because we'll enable to do margin trading without having any more the risk of being liquidated. If you want to know more, uh, because in this moment I just gave you a quick overview. I will leave also the link right now. It is available only in testnet and they are still working on it. Guys, let me know if you know any other solution that is trying to improve the efficiency when we are talking about LPs and most of all concentrated LPs because yes, we have been talking about Camino, Alpha Omora, and Arrakis and Popsicle, and all of them are trying to increase the efficiency of the concentrated liquidity. On the other side, we have seen also solutions like a Hedgecat that are creating a margin trading platform like GMX, but instead of using the uh, cryptos from a uh, user that are using the GLP token, that is the token of GMX, so you have to deposit ETH inside and the other people will use your ETH in order to uh, trade with leverage. But obviously in this way, there is a risk of being liquidated and so on. In this case, they are using the LPs from the user from Uniswap in this case, but the same technology can apply to any kind of other DEX that is using concentrated liquidity in order to offer margin trading without the risk of being liquidated. So quite cool. Let me know if you know any other solution that is going into this direction because I'm pretty curious about that. And obviously, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask into the comment section below. And guys, don't forget to leave us a big thumbs up and drop a comment. That's just a small effort for you, but really means a lot to us. Guys, thank you for following me. Bye.